Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 898. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, click on the link below the video. Hey, in this video, we have lot numbers here, and we have for each lot number there are SCS documents. And what we need is we need to simply be able to select a lot number and have all of those documents appear. All right, so let's uh, uh, go over to this sheet right here, 898. Now, the heart of this problem is lot number. And for both the counting, we need to count how many documents there are for 23, which would be 2, and then we need to extract them. So both for our count and extracting formula, the heart, the conceptual trick is going to be looking up a row. So here is our two-dimensional table. When I say look up 23, it needs to come down here and look at through the whole row and find documents. All right, let's do the first part, look up row, index function is perfect for looking up a row. I'm going to highlight the two-dimensional table, rows and columns, F4. Whoops. Let's try that again, F4, comma, and then the row number. Well, 23 corresponds to 1, 2, 3, the fourth row. Match function is perfect for determining relative position. I'm going to say look up that lot number, F4 to lock it, comma, within that range right there, F4. Now these values are sorted, so we can use approximate match. If they weren't, or you had some other type of data, you do comma zero for exact match. But the default, if we leave it off, see those square brackets. Whenever you see square brackets, it means if you leave it off, it'll assume the default, and approximate match is the default. All right, so that's row number. So what it's doing right now is it's coming down and saying, oh, here's the row. But match also needs comma column number. Well, what is it that we need here? Once we establish the row, I want all the columns. If you want all the columns, you either leave it blank or put a zero. And it says, hey, give me all the columns. So I'm going to leave it blank and then close parentheses. Now let's highlight and hit the F9 key to evaluate. OK, so it's delivering two items and then a bunch of zeros. Doesn't matter. Those zeros don't matter for either the counting or extract formula. Control Z. Now, here in this cell, I need to count how many documents there are for lot 23. So I'm simply going to use count a. Uh. Count a uh counts non-empty cells. And even though there are zeros there, it'll be smart enough to know that those are empty. So it'll give us a count of two. Another thing about this, this index is delivering a range here of values. Count uh can handle that range, so we simply have to hit Enter, not Control-Shift-Enter. All right, actually. I want to do one other thing. I want to add some data validation. Inside this table for the documents, if you scroll over, I have a unique list of the documents um, and a unique list of lot numbers. So just to make it easy, I want to do data validation list. Alt-DL is the keyboard shortcut. Tab, and I want to allow not any value, but a list. So I type L, Tab, and then I highlight the source. That gives me a drop down. I click OK. So now if I select lot number 23, sure enough, it's counting correctly. Lot number uh, 20, it's counting correctly. Now here's our look up a row. That's a formula element. I'm going to copy this, because we're going to use this in our extract formula. Now once we've established uh, the row up here, then it's a simple matter of looking up the elements in that row. So I'm going to use the index again, index. Now what is the array? Well, we already have the array. We already have the formula element that looks up the row. So I'm going to Control V. And let's take a look at this. If I highlight this and hit F9, notice that array syntax is comma, comma, comma. So it's actually looking up um, across the column. So I'm going to Control Z. Now, the index function is great because if you have a one dimension, which we do, it's just um, it's a row, which means there's elements in different columns. But if the array being looked up is one dimension, comma, you can use the row number argument for either a row or a column. Now, I actually read an interesting a post the other day, John Witter's Excel Tips blog. He says if you utilize the row number argument when it's really a column, Excel handles it no pro problem. It's programmed to do that. But if you open it in other programs like Open Office, it will not work. 
All right, so row number, no problem. We could put our row, our, we need column numbers, but we could put it there. I'm going to type a comma and leave it. You leave it blank, or you can put one. The fact that there is only one row, when you say, when you leave it blank, it just says, give me all the rows, there's only one. All right, so you ready? Now the column number. Well, the thing about this is, depending on which lot number, we have a different number. No problem. I'm going to copy this formula down. So I need the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4 as I copy it down. So I'm going to use the rows. Rows just allows me to say, well, I'm in E12. So I'm going to say E dollar sign 12 to lock that row, comma, but not the second one, E12. What this means is row says 12 to 12. How many rows? 1. But because that's not locked when it moves to 13, the formula element will say 2, then 3, then 4. That's perfect for column number. Notice rows because we're copying it down, but because it's in the argument column numbers, it will interpret that correctly. Close parentheses. Now, Control Enter. No Control Shift Enter. And copy it down. All right, so now if I change this to 21, it's properly uh, getting the right documents there. Now, no problem. We can fix this. The reason we did that count is so we can simply add an if. If. And I'm going to use my same number incrementer. This will give me the numbers 1, 2, 3. OK, 1, 2, 3 as I copy down. I'm going to say anytime that gets greater than this, F4 to lock it. That's the logical test. When it comes out true, comma, I want to put double quote for and double quote. That means show nothing to Excel. Otherwise, there's the formula. Close parentheses. No Control Shift Enter, just Control Enter, and then double click and send it down. I select 20, boom, I have all my SCS documents, 22, there we go. Uh, again, uh, the, this if, if you are in only Excel and you're never going to share this with uh, open office uh, programs, you can delete that argument because it's program, index is program to interpret any one, any number you put in here, if it's a one dimensional array, it will work. All right, we'll see you next trick.